baby keeps disappearing from her crib every night. Then parents learn the truth. Parents are always concerned with the safety of their children, especially when it comes to newborns. Babies need constant attention, love, and affection to feel safe and cared for. To enhance their baby's safety, parents also obtain baby monitors, security cameras, strollers, and car seats. Parents want the most reliable items possible to keep their children out of danger. One couple had worked very hard to make sure their baby is always safe, especially at night. They purchased a comfortable, high-quality baby crib for their daughter. However, after some time, they noticed something strange going on in her bedroom. Every night, their 15-month-old baby would disappear from her baby crib and be found the next morning wandering around the house. Her parents knew she was too small to get out of the crib on her own, so they installed a security camera in her room. What they saw on the monitor left them at a loss for words. Chris and Nina Cardinal were an ordinary couple from Arizona who had recently welcomed baby Chloe into the world. They fell in love with the girl from the very first moment they saw her. The Cardinals swore they would do everything in their power to keep her safe. Unfortunately, one day, something indescribable happened in their daughter's bedroom at night. Raising a newborn wasn't easy for them. Baby Chloe would often cry and keep her parents awake at night. They couldn't tell whether she was hurting, hungry, or just needed some attention. The couple loved their daughter dearly, so they tried their hardest to keep her safe at all times. But what happened one night was beyond their control. Chloe's safety was their biggest concern. The Cardinals purchased a baby monitor and a comfortable baby crib with a safety guard to ensure their daughter was safe at night. The couple thought that nothing bad could possibly happen to their daughter now that they had obtained all the necessary items for her bedroom, but they were wrong. The first few months went by quickly. The Cardinals would put their baby daughter into her crib and monitor her activity through the baby monitor. Chloe would often wake them up by crying, although after some time, she started sleeping through the whole night. The Cardinals were relieved as it seemed like their daughter was doing well now that she wasn't crying so often anymore. But then they noticed something very odd in her behavior. One night after putting Chloe to sleep, the couple went to bed. She didn't wake them up during the night. Chris and Nina were finally able to catch up on sleep but what the couple saw the next morning shocked them to the core. The next morning, Nina went to Chloe's room to check on her. The woman couldn't believe her eyes when she realized her daughter's crib was empty, with no sign of the girl in the room either. Nina immediately started panicking. Where was her daughter? Nina ran to Chris with the devastating news. Together, they started searching for Chloe in the house and calling her name. They couldn't understand how she was able to escape from her crib and open the bedroom door as she was still very small. Scary thoughts started popping into their heads. Did someone kidnap their baby girl? Chris and Nina were shocked, to say the least. They searched for their daughter in every room upstairs, but Chloe was nowhere to be found. When Nina went downstairs, she saw something that made her hair stand on end. Her daughter was sitting on the floor of their living room, she looked calm and relaxed. Nina was relieved, but at the same time, she felt mystified by her daughter's behavior. How did she manage to get here on her own? She asked Chloe how she managed to get out of her crib, open her bedroom door, and come downstairs by herself. Chloe didn't say anything. She giggled and continued walking around the room. To them, it felt like she knew something that they didn't know. The couple was shocked and confused. Nina and Chris couldn't wrap their minds around how their 15-month-old baby girl made such a long journey on her own. In the end, they decided to forget about the strange incident and hoped that their daughter wouldn't escape from her crib again. Little did they know what was about to happen next. The next night, Chris and Nina put their daughter in her crib again and hoped that she wouldn't escape this time. Unfortunately, a few hours later, their worst fear had come true. Nina and Chris woke up a couple of hours later to the sound of their daughter singing and moving around the house. Chloe had escaped from her room again. The Cardinals were in disbelief. Nina checked the baby crib to make sure the gates weren't broken. Everything in Chloe's room seemed ordinary. She knew Chloe couldn't get out of the crib on her own as she was still very small it was only possible for her to escape with someone's help. 
Despite the Cardinals' best efforts, their daughter kept getting out of her room on a nightly basis. Every night, Chloe would wake her parents up by escaping from her crib and wandering around the house, singing and playing with her toys. Nina and Chris were losing their minds. How was Chloe getting out of her room every night? Nina and Chris began to lose more and more sleep themselves. They knew it wasn't safe for their daughter to be wandering around the house at night on her own. They had to come up with a plan on how to solve this strange problem. And soon they figured out a way to find out what was really going on in her bedroom at night. Chris and Nina decided to purchase a baby camera and install it in Chloe's bedroom. It was the only way for them to find out how their daughter managed to escape from her crib every night. They set up the camera on top of the dresser facing their daughter's bed and prepared to find out the truth. Once again, the Cardinals were woken up in the middle of the night by Chloe running around the house, playing with her toys and singing loudly. Exhausted, Nina and Chris went to the baby camera to see what had happened. The result was not at all what they expected. The couple watched the recording in fascination and amazement. At approximately six in the morning, the door to Chloe's room opened and two of their family dogs ran up to the girl's crib and started waking her up. But what happened next was even more astonishing. In the video, the couple saw two of their golden retrievers running in and out of Chloe's room with excitement. They were gently tapping the girl and licking her face. Once Chloe fully woke up, she eagerly hopped out of the crib and followed her furry friends into the hallway. Nina and Chris finally got an explanation for her daughter's behavior. As it turns out, she had help all along. Every night, Chloe would follow her four-legged friends around the house and play with her toys instead of sleeping. The Cardinals were relieved as it was nothing more than a silly escape with the help of her family dogs. Her daughter was safe all along. One couple from Cincinnati, however, faced a slightly different problem when they purchased a baby monitor for their 10-month-old daughter. The mother kept hearing a man's voice coming from the device, and the worst of all, she had never heard this voice before. Raising a small baby is no easy task. One young couple from Cincinnati learned that as soon as their daughter was born. There were many sleepless nights and trips to the doctor during the first few months, but what worried them the most was something much more significant. A few days after the little girl was brought home from the hospital, her parents noticed an instant change in her behavior. She would start crying as soon as she would be left alone in her bedroom, despite being fed minutes before. Little did she know how much worse it was going to get. At first, the concerned parents assumed that their child could be in pain, so they decided to take her to the doctor to find out what was going on. After a physical examination, the doctor told the couple that their baby was healthy, and it was very unlikely that she was suffering from pain. The relieved parents returned home and hoped that the physician was right. However, they couldn't help but notice one strange thing about their daughter. They noticed a sudden change in their daughter's mood when they took her to the doctor that day. She was crying hysterically in her bedroom, but then instantly stopped once they took her outside. The child remained quiet and was even smiling during the doctor's appointment. It was clear that she wasn't suffering from pain. On the other hand, the parents were relieved by the doctor's words. Their baby girl was healthy and had no medical issues. They even asked some of their friends with small babies, and as it turned out, they also faced the same problem in the beginning. The couple decided to let it go and enjoy parenthood. But what happened just a few months after shocked them to the core. The couple noticed a slight improvement in the following week. The baby wasn't crying as often anymore. One night, she even managed to sleep the entire night in her crib without waking up. The parents came to the conclusion that their baby was having a difficult time adjusting to being on her own, and that was why she cried so often. Sadly, they were wrong. It was only the beginning. Unfortunately, the baby never fully adjusted to sleeping in her room alone. She would cry in her bedroom every now and then, sometimes even the whole night. The exhausted parents felt hopeless. Then they came up with an idea. The couple wanted to find out what exactly was the reason behind their child's behavior. They couldn't tell whether there was something in the girl's bedroom that was bothering her, or she just didn't want to sleep on her own. 
So the following night, they did an experiment, and what they found out made their jaws drop. They decided to place their daughter in a different room for the night. They left the baby monitor along with her toys behind and only moved the crib. The parents wanted to see whether or not their baby would start crying in another room as well. What happened that night blew their minds. To their big surprise, the girls slept the entire night and didn't cry once. The parents were shocked as it had been a while since their daughter last slept peacefully at night. Initially, they assumed it was a coincidence and decided to leave her in the same room for another night to observe her behavior. The baby slept well the second, third, and fourth night in a row after being moved to another room. The parents were shocked. How come she suddenly stopped crying after being moved to a different place? The couple couldn't understand what was going on. The baby instantly calmed down after they put her in a different room. They knew that keeping the girl in the other room forever wouldn't solve the underlying problem. It was evident that something in her bedroom had been bothering her and disturbing her sleep. One night, while the baby was sleeping in another room, the worried parents decided to inspect her bedroom. The parents carefully examined her bedroom but didn't find anything out of the ordinary. The room was warm and quiet. What could possibly bother their child? Millions of questions were running through their minds. The parents were becoming more and more mystified by their daughter's behavior. They even thought that her bedroom might be haunted, and she was seeing something that they couldn't. Sadly, the reality was much worse. The desperate parents decided to try one more time before permanently moving their daughter away from the mysterious room. The night after their inspection, they moved their daughter back to her old room. What happened that night was every parent's worst nightmare. The couple put their daughter to sleep in her old bedroom and went to bed. They were desperately hoping that she would not start crying again. That way, their fear of the room being haunted would go away. Little did they know what they were about to find out in the next couple of hours. After about an hour, the parents were woken up by a strange sound coming from their baby monitor. At first, they couldn't understand what was wrong, and what happened next was absolutely terrifying. They heard a loud, creepy voice that said, Wake up, baby! It was a man's voice that they didn't recognize. They immediately jumped out of bed and rushed to the girl's bedroom. When the parents entered the bedroom, they saw their child hysterically crying. There was no one else in the room, but the voice kept talking. The parents instantly realized what it could be. Neither of the parents had ever heard that voice before. It was apparent that someone might have hacked the baby monitor and has been messing with their little girl. They immediately called 911. What the police revealed was utterly shocking. The police confirmed their suspicions. The couple's baby monitor had been hacked and the person was able to see and hear everything that was happening in the girl's bedroom. The worst of all, the man could also talk to the baby through the hacked device and disturb her sleep. The police were also able to identify the hacker. The parents gasped when the police revealed his identity. The hacker was their neighbor's teenage son. As it turns out, there was a firmware glitch inside the camera of the baby monitor, and the boy was able to obtain its passwords. It was likely that he had been messing with the child for a long time and that was why she couldn't sleep in her room. The parents were shocked, but also relieved at the same time. 